Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we got locked up again because a guard could smell that we were, uh. <laughs> that we were nobody. I also went off on a tangent about my, uh. former arch enemy, Tommy the Xenomorph. Shout out to Torik00. Zero zero. Uh, here we are. I want to comment about the little backgrounds behind each of these images. Uh, this is a comment on an early episode. So, uh, a wheel of cheese for the rat. You see the slice in it there. A badge for the guard. And a bullseye for the ranger. I'm going to enjoy the sheer creativity put into this game's visuals. And you know what? So am I. See what the others have. Uh, Slug has a blob of slime, understandably. Mermaid has a seashell, I think. Horse has, oh, a ribbon, like you'd win in a, like a riding competition. Oh, nobody is just a circle, of course. Well, probably shouldn't be that. Let's, uh, find out what lies inside the clank. Oh, yes, and shout out to KOR, who says that it's so weird hearing Americans and Canadians saying twat. It rhymes with cat. Twat. My mistake. <laughs> KOR also mentions, while well, being happy that is back, so, uh, <laughs> that thing I do in 2D games. And also that in Japanese yen, 5 yen and 50 yen coins have a hole in the middle to this day. Uh, 5 yen since 1949 and 50 yen since 1959. At the very least, tiny Chinese coins and giant red gems are both worth $10, and that's interesting. Let's see here. Oh, it's an Iron Maiden. I'm just not used to seeing them uh, horizontally. Also, the spikes really should be on the inside, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. All right, I'll go right. Is that a trap or an enemy? Alright, I think it's just a trap because it doesn't look alive. It's a little... It's a circle with four nozzles on it, and each of them is spewing flames out in a little cross. Oh, and they spin and follow this little track on the ground. Yes, that is definitely a trap. Jeez, and me without, like, a salamander or something that's uh, immune to fire. Oh my! Well, I helped burn those guys, too. Oh, shit. Ah, it is the smaller number that comes from uh, hitting the wall. Oh! I should have known from the horns. It's a, a big version of the fire breathers. He's got horns, and his fire is much bigger and purple. Spreads across the floor faster than the little guy, too, I see. Now that I have the... Oh, shit, and he's warded. Fucking take that in. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. The little ones have fire that trails across the ground. This guy instantly creates a whole line of fire right in front of him. Oh. And I consumed him to death. Crabs! And mages, apparently. Haven't seen them in a while. 
Oh, good. He's following them. What? Isn't this poison? No, this counts as sharp. It just inflicts poison status. Ah, oh, this is complicated. Oh, that was terrible. I got myself surrounded. Panicking. I have 5 HP in a dream. It's all I can do to stay out of the circles. Ah! Die! Oh boy. Sweet Moses! Oh. I uh, need to put some shit on this guy too. What? Oh, it's, it's, that's the page turn, but I don't have any other pages right now. Uh, what do I have? Yes, extra damage. Um, well, at the moment, I'm going to put Bravado on, because I'm dying. I think I need to do Blunt damage, so I'm going to put on... a second instance of Slug Slime. Oh, no, it just moves it. I don't want to do that. Uh... This. I think it was blunt. Wrong one. Yes, blunt. Now, what's really interesting about Stomp here is that Sluggy here does not have any legs. Huh. I don't have uh, fire immunity, but I do have water. Nope. Salinity is just too high to extinguish that water. Doesn't make any sense. Fuck! Oh, God. Okay. Guard is really straightforward. That doesn't mean he's not a good choice. Or when you're dealing with shitloads of dudes. Embarrassing yourselves at this point. Yoink! Definitely gonna end up trashing the uh, the lamp here. Oh, there's a candy bar there. But I do need to uh, wreck all this shit. Desperate times call for it. I do like that idea that each of these forms is based on a specific creature. You know, that would explain, uh... Well, that would explain it if, uh... Let me check something. You know, I'm not thinking that this guard is a woman. I could be wrong about that, but, uh... That would explain the, uh, you know, th this isn't, like, this one isn't... You know, this is nobody as a horse. This is the horse version of nobody. No, this is just nobody replicating a specific horse that I guess Nostromagus knew at some point. Oh, jeez. Depending on how long that sh uh, wand has been around, this horse might not even be alive. You know, wizards live for centuries. That's a lot of crabs, but they seem to all be stuck on the environmental objects, so I gotta be careful about them. Of course I can't go through there. I can't get off that walkway in the middle, which means I'm going to need ranged attacks. Oh, god damn it. They're warded. Of course they are. Do I have any attacks that do... Shit. My only, uh, dark attacks are, uh, up close. You know, consume being right next to them, and, uh, slime... Slime slide, uh, requiring you to throw yourself into them. 
So that means I fight my way through all those dudes. Oh. I could do that. No, I've died. I thought I could kick them all away. Piss! I'm back outside the uh, clank. Well, I blame you for this, merchant. That's a lie. The doors open by themselves. Again, horses not have hands. I can do this. Oh, I've just got that. The, uh, the doors must need locks. Doors have locks, locks have keys. This is going to be interesting because I've died, which means I left the dungeon, which means it's reset itself. As you can see, I no longer have the map. What is that? Knife Bro Rescue. Find and rescue Knife Bro in the Clank Dungeon. Feels like nitpicking, but uh. Missed! Oh, wrong button. Yeah, that was a good use of that button. Much better. Little nibble. chest just above me. Huh! It all fell directly on top of me because there was no room because of these barrels. I couldn't have come in here as anyone except the rat. I wonder if I can fit in there. No? And I guess I just go around the awkward way. Love that. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I didn't think of that would work. Oh! Oh dear. Oh! Yes, now you burn. Damn! That wrecked them! And I don't know that I got any experience from that, but... Poisoned. There is another one over there. No, you don't. Ah. You drop a lot of money. Baddies damaged by consume. But did that get the quest for the ranger, or do I have to do that as the ranger? I can just check. No, I didn't. Hit a baddie seven times in one arrow flurry, and I have to do that five times. And it didn't count as that because I was uh, the rat at the time. That's actually really good to know. Horse, because it's fastest.
Huh. It's a f funny brick pattern right there. Why does that look familiar? Other than reminding me of Jenga. Anything important down there? Oh, uh, no. A corner with nothing in it. That's what it was. Oh, boy. No, get out of the claws. Ah! Oh, that wasn't great. Yo, somebody there, can you let me out? I'm guessing you're the knives guy I'm looking at. What with the dagger you're balancing on your finger. Just a second, there's some skulls down here I really need to vanquish. Complete kill baddies damaged by consume. That was consume three. Almost unlocked egg. Oh, I'm really close. I just need to poison baddies faster with a ranger's poison tip to passive. Aha! one per enemy, but whatever. Custom one. Six specimen. Poison baddies faster with a ranger's poison tipped passive. B. Detonate the poison unlocked. Explode all poisoned baddies on screen. Costs 20 mana. Form unlocked. Egg! Egg roll unlocked. Hold A. Charge and roll into baddies, but watch out for walls. Restores 12 mana. Plus 12 mana. Oh yeah, because you have to charge it, of course. So it's awkward to use. Hardened shell unlocked. Never lose more than one-third of your max health from a single hit! With that, I can beat One Punch Monk. Ah, I see. I'm not gonna do that right now. I am, however, going to shapeshift into an egg. What was that? Oh, egg quests, of course. Uh, just a moment. Egg! Which is, of course, sitting in a nest. For its circle. I am an egg! I can just sort of hop around. Okay, you do take damage if you go straight into the wall with that. Good to know. Uh... This nest is too hot. Cozy up under a big bird's butt. One out of five. So I have to do that five times for the egg to hatch? Is that what it is? Oh, this nest is too hot. This nest is too cold. This nest is just right. Admittedly, I wouldn't have gotten that so fast if I hadn't specifically been thinking about that fairy tale because uh, I was reading something about Starfield that mentioned something about the Goldilocks zone. Right. Well, uh, I know how to level that up. Or at least where. But uh, for now, I really should keep going, because as I mentioned, the uh, whole thing is going to reset if I leave. Uh, hello? Thanks, bro. I got a bit careless earlier and ended up getting thrown into the cell. I'll tell you. <clears throat> I'll tell you just because you saved me. I'm from the Thieves' Guild. There should be an apostrophe there somewhere. 
Maybe we'll bump into each other again in the future. I'll be going now. Find a rescue knife, bro, in the Clank Dungeon. It's a picture of a chicken with a ball in its mouth. Knife bro rescue, find and rescue knife bro in the Clank Dungeon. Hell yeah. And with that good deed done, I'm going to call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. When we uh, continue exploring the Clank, and uh, hopefully reach the end with enough time to try out some of those things we're looking forward to, like the One Punch Monk or nesting. How delightful. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later!